Welcome back, folks, to Donkey Kong Country, here on the Heavy Basics channel. Today, we've completed World 3, and we're now going to head back to Funky to visit our fourth world. And if you may have noticed, the fourth world of Donkey Kong Country is quite simple. It's the, it's the, it's now time for everybody's hated physics, Ice Physics. Ah, uh, great. First up is Snow Barrel Blast. Um, to be honest, this is this is where the uh, difficulty kind of spikes. Uh, the first thing you may have noticed is that while I'm doing this, there's a bonus battle right there. But you need the help of that vulture which you could step on. And again, it's now time to play Find the Winky. Everyone knows this by now. Barrel number three. And I has... A, oh god, not another one! Ah. Yeah, winky time. Winky time. Yeah, you can easily tell this is uh, the one thing I'm glad that what that what the the second Donkey Kong did was to get rid of this. I really, really hated doing this because if because you have no fucking choice, you literally just do this often, and all you just do is basically gather up lies and really. At this point, Donkey Kong is not about lies. I prefer the bonus rooms of the sequel. There is no freaking animal tokens because, to be honest, let's put it this way. Who the fuck does this? Who in their ever right mind would think that this is a good idea? I mean, granted, it's a, it's a classic, but the second one holds up as a better game. Anyway, five, uh, 565 icons. That means we have five lives. And again, adding to the point that lives do not matter. Right, moving on to the actual level itself. Snow Barrel Blast is is basically difficult because mostly due to the fact that we can find now we introduce green these bastards. Green bloody hornets are fucking tricky. Reds cannot be killed. Greens can be killed actually. I didn't think greens would be killed. But the vault, but the neckies now are coming in so quick, you have to react with precise timing. Which is why this game is precise bloody timing. And also we have clap traps, a lot of clap traps too. Also, the zingers will be guarding the way forward, so you may want to start real. You might want to start pressing your timing buttons right, because otherwise it, it, it's ice physics. Who the fuck would use ice? Anyway, ride the steel barrels and beat the naughties. Let's try this one. Automatic barrels there. See, now you should, you saw that as the level progresses, the blizzard gets worse. When the blizzard gets to a maximum like this, oh yeah, now we're literally we cannot see for shit. Uh, crusher, moving down here, we get the we get ourselves another automatic. Yeah, you can easily tell why I don't like this level. Anyway, that bonus room contains the O letter, so we are moving on from there. Uh, there is technically... All you just need to do is just basically just do some jumping here. Although I'm surprised I did the double jump. I'm surprised I actually did that. Uh, yeah, we got that. Moving up here. Uh, really? There's a re... Actually, I'm just thinking. There is... Yeah, that's what I thought too. There's a... There is a bonus. Number three. Bonus three, to be precise. And quite literally, it's this. It's kind of, kind of simple. Uh, that that's actually kind of shit. <laughs> really is. See, the level takes longer, the more you get. You get our second Rambi token. To be honest, it's just a bit of that. Uh, I don't know why I did not hold still, but uh, you can easily tell. I'm just preparing myself for the eventual... Oh! I remember that one now. That was an infamous shortcut. That, that bit, this bit here, go for all that. That cuts a good chunk of that last bit. You should remember that bit of the sequel. I was surprised I didn't get it. Anyway, moving on, we're actually at the end of the level. Thank God, too. So, Snow Barrel Blast is out of the way. Moving on to our first cave level of the NEA, Slip Slide Ride. Oh, yeah, Slip Slide Ride. Ooh, this is where it gets... Again, pointing this out, this is a crystal cave level and a very tricky one at that. Uh, more importantly, if you wait for the uh, clanger here, the introduction of reverse ropes. This is where the level gets difficult. Or as I like to call it, this is the first proper difficult level of the game. 
I mean, there have been some difficult levels, but Jesus, the, the first really tricky level, where this comes in. And we haven't even been to the later levels. The factory levels are difficult. The cave level is difficult. There are some whoa moments, and this is the first whoa moment, because the ropes could go, depending on which ropes, they could go up or down. And they have spikes, or rather zingers, at the end of some of these. You go down and you reach the fact that there's a lot of ropes here. Head down here, you have our first bonus room, second bonus room, right there. And we basically have to spell it Nintendo. You can definitely tell Ryan this thing is easy as the heck we could do. And that's the easiest one to get, so we'll get Nintendo out of the way. And our reward is a 1-up. Again, to point this out, there are, there's no much point to lives here. Again, it's just more difficult. Right. Kong and the fact that it's ice physics is not really good. Right, now it begins. You have to start jumping from these ropes. And if you don't, you're going to lose Diddy. And it's really difficult because, well, let's put it this way. Would you want to do this, Cofton? Because I do think so. Yeah, this was the first tricky level. Now, enemies are starting going to come out out of, the, out of the stuff, so you need to start reacting with precision jumps. So, get that one out of the way. Uh, now, let's see. You need to hit the rope at the right timing, otherwise you're going to get hit. We have a halfway point here and an arrow that says left. We go up from here. We go right here, right. Now, that's the way. Now, that rope will lead us to our next bonus, as it does here. Actually, these two an O. I rather thought it was lead us to a bonus rather than O. Oh, uh, so where is the bonus? You may ask yourself. Well, this is the difficult part. This is there is actually you have to start jumping at this point, right? Point this. Oh, okay. That was stupid. I just lost. Um, I just lost it. Did don Donkey Kong? Oh yeah, I certainly did. And um, yeah. I can tell where this is going, and it's not a good, it's not a good thing, it really is not, um, better not be an espresso there, oh god no, 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 I'm not doing espresso, Ah, oh, fuck, again, animal bonuses really piss me off, this is not a, this is not a game designed for a cheap animatronic bonuses and shit, yes, the original espresso is dead, in fact, they actually clarified what happened to Espresso in the uh, re-release for the G for the GBA, and it was quite simple. The new one, yeah, the the new Espresso, yeah, the original one's dead. I'm glad they got rid of him too. I don't know what the heck they did to Winky, but I'm sent I'm hoping they send him back to fucking Narnia because he sucks. He's a terrible character and a terrible, terrible choice. Right, let's just get this one out of the way. Move the most lives there. Um, again, just point this out, lives do not matter. The only reason why this video is long is because of these fucking bonuses. If it was per- you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna do any more of these bloody bonuses. And if they show up, they're gonna get more pissed off. Because I- because this game is good. The boat. these bonuses are ruining the experience. And now I'm gonna try and find- trying to find Donkey Kong and climb up this really difficult bit. There we go. Now let's get back to Donkey Kong. So we're back to DK like so. And we're going to start using Diddy Kong for the bit because I know for a fact that Diddy Kong does actually survive more aggressive bits. Is more is more used to fast bits. Although, to be honest, I would have preferred Diddy Kong in the sequel. Because that's the game, exactly what the game is. But this is Donkey's game. Donkey does not show up until the sequel. Yeah, now you can definitely see why the level gets a bit more tricky. This platform right here. The ropes, now that you know, you're gonna have to start jumping up between ropes that go downwards. And if you don't, well, you're gonna be fucked. Because at this point here, you need to get as high as you can, and then you need precise jumping, like so. That actually goes down to the white, goes, does that. But I'm just thinking, what would the fuck do I do? Well, you can technically do that, but I'd rather not do it. So! We're done with this side ride, we're moving on to Ice Age Alley, but since we are actually quite done for now, I think we're going to stop there, but 
We're still frozen and this is not a good place to rest, but we kind of have no choice. We have to go through the tops of D DK Island in order to get to our next location. So, stay tuned for the next episode. More ice physics on the way.